Hello and welcome to sapyard.com. We are ready for a new batch on BRF Plus or Business Rule Framework Plus for SAP applications. Change is the only constant and it is very applicable for SAP product developments in present days. In the past few years, SAP has heavily invested in their strategy and tools for business process management. Along with the modern ABAP and S4 HANA programming model, BRF Plus became one of the hottest new components that ship with the SAP NetWeaver releases. With BRF Plus, SAP has a robust, effective, ABAP-based business rule technology that is suitable as the foundation for effective decision management. If you have never heard about BRF Plus, or you thought it is only for the SAP functionals or only for the ABAP developers, this is the right course you should enroll. This course is designed both for SAP ABAP developers and SAP functionals. Decision management is an approach that focuses on automation and improving business decisions, including the many micro decisions that impact a single customer or a single claim. This training on BRF Plus is very timely. SAP is already adopting business rules and business rule framework plus in its applications. With S4 HANA, BRF Plus can be enabled in every module and processes. The output management is one common use case of BRF Plus. Not to forget the complex dunning procedures or the insurance claim management or any other simple modules in SAP where you have to define any constants or any processes which is ever changing and you want to keep it flexible. In this course, we will introduce you to BRF Plus. We will let you know the use cases of BRF Plus and the business rules along with the BRF Plus developer workbench and BRF Plus user workbenches. There has to be a building block for everything. Data objects describe the data types and at the same time serve as the data carriers in the context or the result. Just like in ABAP dictionary, data type, we have data element, structure and table types. Similarly in BRF plus data object types, we have element, structure and table. We will also learn about applications and catalogs. A catalog simplifies the full maintenance process for the business rule by hiding the overall repository. Just like the catalog in the physical public libraries, the catalog in BRF plus displays only the relevant objects that are necessary for the maintenance of business rule in a given scenario. BRF Plus applications can be created with the help of user interface in the BRF Plus workbench. Alternatively, the same application can be created programmatically with the BRF Plus API. API is the acronym for Application Programming Interface. This is a complex way of saying class and methods. Treat the API as some class methods which makes your life easier. We will not only learn the concepts and theories in this training, but also practice them hands-on in this course. BRF Plus is not a lightweight product. It is a complete business rule management system that allows to create, manage, deploy simple and complex rules in ABAP environment. Therefore, it is important to learn about the BRF Plus data objects like elements, structures and tables along with the data binding and other related concepts. Business rules exist in each and every organization around the world. We will learn about rule engine, rule representation, rules and rule sets in this course. It will be a complete hands-on session where the trainer will teach the steps and the participants get the opportunity to, to do the practicals during the live classes. Functions in BRF Plus is considered as the connecting link between the code and the rules. It defines inputs and outputs and thus acts as the contract between the caller and the business logic implements with the rules. In short, functions define the purpose of what is to be done in the business rule. We will cover the modes of triggering BRF Plus functions, signature and context of function along with how to assign rule sets to the functions and many more. We will also learn how to generate the ABAP code to consume the function. We will dive deeper to explore the tracing techniques of BRF plus functions. Consuming the BRF plus function in the application is one common requirement and, and we will teach the app participants all these steps in 
details. In BRF Plus, expression type is considered as self-contained computational unit with a well-defined logic. The data actually to be processed via an expression type is defined by expressions. Sounds confusing? Do not worry. The trainer will clarify all the concepts with real-time, hands-on examples. It will help you understand the topics better. We will talk about decision table, ways to optimize the decision table performance, learn about nested processing and many more. Not to forget, we will talk about the Excel support as well in BRF+. ABAP Runtime Identification and ABAP Runtime Type Creation is not new terminology for ABAP developers. But how many of us use it in real life? This course will make good use of ABAP RTTI and ABAP RTTC. Also, we will learn how to get BRF Plus Decision Table into internal tables with Utility ABAP program. You will surely love this topic. BRF Plus Expression is one big topic. We will cover constants, value boolean, case, dynamic expressions, etc. Formula are business rules that produce a value according to the specified mathematical algorithm. Decision trees graphically depict the chains of dependent conditions leading to return values or to an action. Similar to decision tables, decision trees provide a mechanism to easily structure interrelated business rules. Procedure calls all ABAP procedure which may be method or function model. Similarly, table operation operates on entire tables to carry out aggregations, existence checks and line counts. You will surely appreciate all these details covered and demonstrated hands-on in this training. One size never fits all. Just like the standard SAP process can never be useful to all client business needs, therefore SAP provides user exits, customer exits, baddie, enhancement points, etc. to all customers to tweak the system as per their unique business needs. Similarly, SAP has provided DRF plus application exits. These are programmatic enhancements that will be executed at the specific events for specific purpose. BRF plus exits are technically based on an ABAP class that implements the special interface if FDT application settings. They are typically used and valid only within the scope of single business rule plus application. These are some advanced topics which we would not shy away to teach the participants. BRF Plus supports the SAP standard way of moving or copying development objects from one system to another via the transport management system. The transport analysis tool helps in resolving problems that may occur during the transport movement. For the transportation of BRF Plus objects, some prerequisites have to be considered. We will cover all of this in our course. BRF Plus also provides an API that enables us to launch the BRF Plus workbench programmatically. We will also learn about these advanced topics in this course. We will continue the advanced topics in BRF Plus where we will learn how to customize the BRF Plus UI. We will also focus on restricting user actions, hiding and unhiding buttons and sections of BRF Plus workbench as per rules and for better user experience. Before concluding, we will also discuss some real project scenarios where BRF Plus is heavily used. We will show one end-to-end -end scenario using SAP Retail ISU Dunning example. This is going to be one of the unique and detailed course available on BRF Plus. With S4 HANA and other innovations in SAP, BRF Plus should be one skill which all functionals and technicals should get prepared and be ready to plunge in when the opportunity arises. They say there is nothing called luck. Luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. So we should be prepared and ready so that we do not miss any opportunity. Let us look into some important date, time and other information. The first day of the training is on 9th of January 2021 at 7.30 am IST. This time is GMT plus 5.5 hours ahead. So if you are in Europe, Africa or West Asia, you might not be able to join the live classes. This time suits better for participants from Indian subcontinent, East Asia, Australia, New Zealand, North and South America. 
We are open for registration till December 23, 2020 and the payment of the fee and enrollment process should be complete by December 30, 2020. The link to enroll for this training is in the description section of this video. Each class will be little over 2 hours and the whole course will be little over 16 hours. Recordings of the class will be provided after each live session and participants will have lifetime access to these recordings. The S4 HANA 1809 server access will be provided till February 28, 2021. You will have one extra month after the training end date to practice and master the concepts in case you miss the assignment due dates during the training. The server access is included in the training fee and you do not need to pay anything extra for it. Please check the description section of this video for the course fee and other details. Thank you very much for supporting and encouraging SAP Yard. Please like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, LinkedIn and Instagram. Please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that bell icon. Please email us at mailsapyard at gmail.com or whatsapp us at plus one two five one seven two seven nine two seven three if you have any queries. Looking forward to seeing you live on the training day. Have a safe and wonderful time ahead. Thank you very much.